Hey everyone, it's Catherine from Server Pro, and today we'll be showing you all the features of the Blood Knight plugin and how to download it and install it on your server. Blood Knight is a hardcore survival plugin that transforms nighttime to be more scary. It also changes the core behavior of mobs. If you want to make your server a hardcore survival server with fun features, or want something suitable for Halloween, this plugin is perfect for that. Here's a quick overview of the features this plugin offers, after this I will show you how to download and set up the plugin on your server. Blood Knight adds 23 unique mobs such as the Flying Creeper, Blaze Rider, or Toxic Enderman that make nighttime a true challenge. All special mobs have a custom damage and health value to make fighting them more challenging. You can modify the damage and health for both these special mobs as well as vanilla mobs. Even vanilla mobs have a chance of dropping custom items. If you want to add special drops for a specific mob, you can configure that as well. Blood Knights happen randomly by moon phase or a fixed interval. You can configure that to decide what timings suit you best. If your night is short, you can also change the night duration. Most of the settings can be modified in-game using commands. First, you're going to need to go to the plugin's website. You can find the link in the description below. Make sure the plugin is compatible with the version your server is on. Then click download now which should instantly download the latest version of the plugin. Once that's done, we recommend dragging the file to your desktop so it's easier to find. Go to your server's control panel. Make sure your server is set to spigot or paper and that you've selected a version that is compatible with the plugin. Before proceeding, make sure your server is offline. Next, head over to your file section and open the plugins folder. Now you want to drag and drop the file you downloaded earlier into this folder. Then you can turn on your server and wait till it's online to see if the plugin has installed correctly. After doing so, head over to the console tab to make sure the plugin is installed. You can see it's installed when it says done near the bottom. During the startup, make sure there aren't any errors relating to the plugin. In order to enable commands, you will need to go to the plugin's config files. Go to the plugin's folder from the files section and click on the Blood Knight file. Then click on World Settings. Choose the file for the world you want to enable commands for. Under Blood Knight World Settings next to Enabled, change it from False to True. Save the file, then restart your server. There are many different commands you can use for Blood Knight. Some commands, such as slash Blood Knight Manage Knight, help you decide if you'd like to begin the Blood Knight, end it, change the night duration, or skip it. Another example would be slash Blood Knight Manage Mobs, which helps you adjust mob properties, such as their drops, drop amounts, spawn percentage, monster damage, and more. Just type in slash Blood Knight in game and you can see all of the commands that you can use. As for configuration, you can edit some properties in more detail instead of using commands. This can be done by going to the plugin's config files. Go to your service control panel, head over to your file section and open the plugin's folder. Then open the Blood Knight folder. Click on world settings and select the world you'd like to edit properties from. As you can see here, you can edit many details such as world settings, boss bar settings, night selection, night settings, and mob settings for each type of mob, including vanilla mobs. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.